Mm. Would you believe I'm getting high as a kite right now? Oh, did you not know that caffeine is actually a psychoactive drug? And not only is it socially acceptable, but almost everyone is getting high off their caffeine fix every day. Humans around the world have a real love affair with caffeine, which is a nice way to say that we're all junkies for the stuff. But is this love unrequited? Which is a nice way of asking, is caffeine actually bad for us? First, let's talk about your energy. Not like, wow, you have such a great energy. I feel like we really vibe. More like, wow, you're walking really fast. Why do you have so much energy? Normally, the human body gets its energy from breaking down a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, if you're hip with the kids and scientists. This is a sneaky molecule, though, because the adenosine part of ATP is a molecule that makes you sleepy, very sleepy. So as your body breaks down ATP, the A of ATP binds to receptors in the brain, making you want to curl up under your desk at work for a cat nap. And while your boss might be feeling the exact same way, they won't be cool with any of that nap action. Enter caffeine! Turns out caffeine's chemical structure is very similar to adenosine's chemical structure, and that allows it to pull a fast one on your brain. Because it looks and feels the same, your brain doesn't think twice when caffeine sneaks in and blocks adenosine molecules from attaching to receptors, thus preventing you from feeling sleepy. So whenever you crack open that caffeine-filled can of cola, you're essentially coke-blocking yourself from getting any nap action. Don't worry, the adenosine won't resent you for it. You should hit your peak caffeine boost about 30 minutes after you've ingested it, and about six hours later, you'll be feeling that classic caffeine crash as the molecule leaves your system. That's why most people start jonesing for another cup of coffee a few hours into the day. But this molecule switcheroo doesn't just give you an energy boost. Caffeine can also increase dopamine, aka Mr. Microscopic Dr. Feelgood, better known as the neurotransmitter that activates pleasure centers in the brain. Caffeine manipulates the absorption rate of dopamine, thereby increasing your dopamine levels and making you feel like the cat's pajamas. You know what else does this to your brain? Oh, only cocaine and heroin. Of course, the effect caffeine has is way weaker than those drugs, but when it comes to dopamine, the process is basically the same. Sure, caffeine also can increase our athletic performance, ability to concentrate, and overall flow of oxygen to the brain, but with all the highs it provides, there are certainly a fair amount of lows. For starters, the whole idea of caffeine addiction is very real, y'all. The fact that it has the same effect on the brain as cocaine and heroin is a pretty big indicator of that. When you increase the amount of caffeine you ingest over time, your brain will react by creating more adenosine receptors as a way to get things back to normal. More adenosine receptors that need to be plugged up means more caffeine needs to be ingested to keep you feeling awake. Are you seeing how this can become a vicious cycle here? This is also why once you try to quit caffeine, you'll probably feel way more tired than you ever did before you started drinking it. Full-blown addiction is legit concern, but even if you feel like you can quit anytime you want, you should know that caffeine can also also raise blood pressure, cause heartburn, and even trigger insomnia or panic attacks. Some folks are more sensitive than others, but drugs is drugs is drugs is drugs, and caffeine is a drug. Most people don't realize that when they're on their fourth cup of coffee for the day, but they should. Good news is, if you ever decide to quit, your adenosine receptors will eventually go back to normal, and those overpriced panic attacks from too much cold brew will eventually become a distant memory. But if you're not trying to quit cold turkey, there are still plenty of delicious options with lower amounts of caffeine, like your mate and cola nuts, that won't leave you feeling as wired as coffee or energy drinks. As long as you acknowledge that you're knowingly putting a psychoactive drug into your system, you do you, boo. Besides, we'd never get in the way of you living your most productive life. Go on with your caffeinated self.